Hello, welcome to another edition of Hey It's Those Guys Game Reviews. I am Nick Silviano and this is Hona Jaga. And today we're reviewing Dragon Age 2. For the PC, Xbox 360, and PS3. PC version, which nobody cares about. Let's move. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people care about the PC version because there are a lot of PC gamers who think they're better than us console gamers. You're fucking idiots, but I respect your opinion. Idiots. So anyway, <coughs> yeah, this is a sequel to the uh, immensely popular Dragon Age Origins that came out in about 2009, around the end of 2009. Along with Awakening, all the DLCs, which all add up as one game. Mm, yeah. So anyway, um, Bioware's next um, entry into the series is the sequel, obviously. Dragon Age 2. So, what do you think? Well, to be honest, I kind of like the first Dragon Age better because... Look at the camera. I kind of like Dragon Age, the first Dragon Age better because it's like more familiar. The equipment and leveling up systems aren't so complicated, and the storyline seems to be pretty straightforward. And you travel the whole, and you get to travel the whole world. Whereas in Dragon Age One, you just revolve around Kirkwall. That is true. It seems like a more of a medieval Grand Theft Auto kind of thing going on here, where you're basically limited to a one city and a few places out there. Um, I like the combat a little better than this one. I think it's a little more fast-paced, a little more interesting. The characters are interesting, and you get a couple of guest appearances from the first one. Some join your party, and others are just there in the background. And it also depends on what kind of route you, route you took in the uh, first Dragon Age Origins game, in the first Dragon Age game, and its sequels. I'm not sequels, DLCs. So combat. Is a plus up. It's a little more uh, involved in this one. It's not as uh, static as the as the first one. Where in this, where in the first one, you pretty much just uh, hit the button and he'll keep attacking until the character is dead. In this one, there's a little more uh, slash to it. You have to be more involved. Um, ordering around your party members pretty much works exactly the same. You can get a couple new moves and stuff like that. A couple of throwbacks in the first one. So in all, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, like I said, the uh, story could have used a bit more kick to it, but other than, other than that, it was alright. I had fun with it. And it was a good good game, so you should definitely give it a try. Don't expect like the caliber story from the first one, because the first one had seemed to have like a bigger purpose, and this one just seems to lead to other stuff that's going to happen later on. So anyway, that was our uh, review of Dragon Age or Drive. I almost said it again. Dragon Age 2? Fail. Pretty much. Dragon Age 2, and we will hopefully be back soon with another. Oh, yeah. And Fen and Fenris the Elf in Dragon Age 2 looks like an elven version of Dante. Yeah, that's right. It's nice to know that they're doing something with the Dante we've come to know and love. The real looking Dante. Not that not piece the, of crap from the new one coming out. Not the one that looks like he could be in a Twilight movie. And I don't care how many of you fucking fanboys try to tell me, oh, get over it. This is a new cut color. This is a new Dante. Fuck that. But anyway, that's a different uh, a complaint for another time. So don't be picking the dust up in that room. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they just put some dust in your pocket here. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, this has been another Hey So Guy Game Reviews. And uh, one last dramatic pose. 